Hello everyone, it's Chris. Welcome back. Today I want to show you how to put a title before your Google advertisements in your blog, in your website, in your WordPress website for instance. And this will signify to your readers that the image that they see there is an advertisement. It's not an image that maybe coincides with your post or something. You know, it could be confusing sometimes because your reader has the same interest in what your blog is about. And so sometimes the images that they see, which are the Google ads, could look like they belong in your ad in your blog post and they click on it and they gonna be moved away from your site. So this is a great little way, common courtesy to let your readers know that they will be coming across and they will be clicking on a, a, a an advertisement that's gonna take them away from your website. So if you go here to my blog, on my website you will see before my Google ads here, I have a title that says advertisement. Uh, you can see my in contact ads in content ads also have the title advertisement. Now I haven't gone and done it for my footers and my headers yet, but I will be doing that. So the way this is done is if we go and we right click it and inspect it, you will see that in my, I have wrapped my ad in a class called widget ad. All right. So if we open this, you'll see my, my, my Google ad code just like yours and then I've I've added a CSS class that says before it place something and what it places is whatever you have within this content right here so you go to the CSS style content and whatever you have in there is what's going to click up there so you can have a link you can have a title such as advertisement you can have a title that says advertise with us and that's a link to so someone who wants to advertise you can click on it and find further information. And if we go over here, we see an example of how pseudo element works. We could go to w3schools.com, CSS, and then down to their pseudo element. All right. And a pseudo element allows you to grab an element and place something within it, outside of it, before it and after it. All right. And so you do have to use a double colon and then address what it is that you want to style. In this quick example, you'll see they have a paragraph, the double colon, first line. And what this does is takes the first line of the paragraph. This code will basically take the first line of every paragraph the way it's written and change its color and its font variant. You can, however, have it just be the first paragraph and first line. Okay, so there's different things you could add to that. And you could read this page to see all the different cool things that you could get started with using these pseudo element classes. So let's get down to the one that we need. And what we need is the before pseudo element. All right. And you can see it's a double colon before. And whatever you place into this content style will be what comes out. So this, for instance, is going to spit out a GIF. You could do text, you could do images, you could do GIFs, and basically all kinds of things that you need to place before a another um, element, okay? It won't place it within it, it places it before it, all right? You could also use this one, which is after, and do the exact opposite thing and place it after the element, okay? So this is not gonna place it with the H1. It will place it after the H1, all right? So let's get the title advertisement in there and if you go to my widgets page in my on my wordpress site you'll see that i have my script code just like yours would be okay and what we want to do is put it in a wrapper so we're going to create a div we're going to give it a class of widget add okay so we have a div and we've given it a class of widget add, okay? And then we close our div to close our wrapper. So now our code is within a wrapper, okay? Don't forget to save it. And you can name this class whatever you want. I'm going to name this class widget add, be add because as you can see, that's already what I have done. You can see that's already what my class has been called. So I'm just going to go ahead and call that. And now let's go over to my CSS page. And you'll see that I have called my class widget add colon colon before. And then I have my content style here that is going to place in there whatever I need to have placed in there. Okay. 
we could change this advertise with us okay and so what also you'll see what I've done is I've made the font quite small I've also made the font color quite light with the alpha transparency of 0.3 and I've also made the letter spacing really small because you know it doesn't have to be something that's bright when you come over here to the page you'll see it's not a title okay it's really small it's not a uh, it's not a heading for instance and it's light they'll see it if they need to see it otherwise they'll just continue on past and understand it's a it's an advertisement that they're reading and get on with reading the rest of your blog post okay so we've saved we've come over here we've saved our widget and and our CSS has been written and if we come over here and refresh our site you will see that our title has changed now to advertise with us and it's nice and light it's small the letter spacing is tight so it's there and it doesn't take up a lot of room okay and that is how you put a title before your Google ad let's just uh, recap real quick so don't forget to place your ad within a div okay give that div a class go to your CSS and write your content for it write content and whatever you want within this needs to go within these marks and then add whatever styles you need to add to it to make it look beautiful as well and that's how you put a title before your Google advertisements let your readers know that they're going to be clicking away from their site is just the courteous thing to do. If you need help getting Google advertisements into your blog, into your blog post, for instance, this one pops up after every three paragraphs. Shoot me an email, chris at chrisjoles.com, and my rates are very reasonable so we can get that done for you quickly. If you like the video, like it, subscribe for more. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Aloha.